Hey, look at that. The same song is playing as was at the end of the previous video. Crazy, I know. And look at that. We're on France. Who would have fucking guessed it? Um, so France. It looks like World War Two, uh, except the Polish are here in their snazzy looking outfits. I love how these guys are in fucking metal armor and shit, looking crazy professional and menacing. Then there's this guy in a little fucking hat and his mustache. <laughs> um, the French army is just sitting back in Spain, sucking dick. Um, as is his one down there. I don't know why he has his army on this 27 province instead of on that one. I assume it's because that province is about to revolt, but like, so what? It's a fort, you can just walk over there. Um, did he not make this trade companies? No, he didn't. Oh my god. Um, please make a trade company, my dude. Uh, like, just get the, um, get the merchant from, I wouldn't say make this one a trade company, you're not gonna get a merchant from the Ivory Coast, but make at least this, this, and this, like, make four of them, four or five of them trade companies to just get a merchant from this shit and then um yeah and then just uh make everything else uh into normal states like this you take it you make it a level three trade center again because it'll go down it'll give you a shit ton of manpower like this gives 5k here at 212 percent efficiency oh my god um and you have quantity, unlike the Portuguese that I was looking at last video. Yeah, you have quantity, so that's another 50% per, um, per province. If we look here. Yeah, um, another 50% per province. This is levy on mass, right? Yeah. So, yeah, you'll have, like, 152% here without a manpower edict, so that's probably going to be, uh, 100, 200%. Uh, where am I looking? It's going to be 200% with the manpower building, uh, the barracks. It's going to be 225% with the edict, and then another 255% with the um, with the building. Um, and I assume there's two grain provinces in here. That's very nice. Plus also the dev cost for the two gold provinces. Um, what am I looking at? This province here, let's see. Uh, that's two, that's not too shabby. This one only has one, so that's a little annoying, but it's still good. Another one up here. There are so many, like, level threes that you can just chuck around up here. Oh, but this is only... This is one state. Never mind. Still, doesn't matter. Um... Yeah. That, that's just gonna be, like, 300% manpower, which is three... 750 times 3, 2,000, uh, 2,200, uh, plus 750, so that's 3k manpower per province, plus the base manpower, which if we look here, 500, uh, times, once you get rid of the local autonomy, 500 times 3, let's just, I forgot what the other one was, 500 times 3, that's another 1,500, plus 500, so that's like, five, if you built, if you're able to build a, um, a manpower building here, the, uh, what's it called, it's 202, uh, you can, that's 5k manpower per province, and then I think up here as well, it's just nut hay, Basically, a lot of manpower. A lot of manpower, a lot of manpower. Um, France, in general, is in a shite spot, as we can all see by, you know, France being currently conquered. Um, f with the... With the Europeans, I'd probably say... Okay, France, he has that. He needs to stay out of bankruptcy. He needs to try and figure a way out of this war, whether through really, really smart fighting or diplomacy, either way. 
he needs to figure that shit out. Uh, I assume... I would also recommend he drop Explo ideas, as I would rec as I would recommend Lothrengia to drop them, because my god, they are fucking useless. Um, Lothrengia wants to meme with them, sure, but France, Lothrengia, you need to drop them to just stay competitive in the um, European wars. Tag. Also, sell Crownlet yeah, for only 150 ducats. Um, tag Loth. Where are your rebel armies? What the fuck? Um, get rid of this, please. Uh, like, it's there, able to be revoked, meaning that you didn't uh, do the renew, which made it unable to be revoked, so that means it's just sitting there, not making money for you. So you need to revoke that shit, my G. Um... You really need to revoke that shit. Um, that'll increase the... How much iron you got in here? That'll increase your trade value in here by a bit as well. Because you've got one... Wait, is it only two? It's three. Bleh. Forget about this one. That's three value on it, plus manufactories, plus production income, etc. Um, production efficiency. Uh, yeah. Anyway... Uh, that's not what I want to talk about. But yeah, you take this when you can. That's 2k ducats. Very nice stuff there. Um, how do you not have the institution? Oh, apparently a lot of people don't have it. Never mind. Um, yeah, so you get the institution, then you take this, obviously. Uh, you do not put any more into exploration. You change it out for, like... Fucking... Uh, eco... Yeah, you change it out for eco ideas, which is very good with these two. Then you go next one, you go trade if you want to have trade, or you go offensive to stay even more competitive in the military game. Uh, you will have a decent economy. Like, you've got 100 ducats, there's nothing to squint at. Like, fucking Spain has 130. And all of your land is currently being fucking devastated into a shithole by the um, British blockade. Like... Well, not into a shithole, but it's all the prosperity is gone, so that's a lot of your income gone, and you're still making a hundred fucking income. That's pretty decent, if I do say so myself. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely say that you don't. I would say you don't need trade ideas, um, because what are you going to pull with it? Like, everyone's already pushing money all over the fucking place. Like, you're not going to. You had 3% power here, 44% there, 78% there, but all this money's already being dragged out, like, what are you gonna do, increase by 5%, Oh boy, I don't think trade ideas are just useful for you, they'll give you a bit more, like, power, but in the end, if GB, AKI, think you have too much power, I could probably just come in and devastate your coastline again with a trade war, etc, like, you're best not to antagonize Okay, I'm saying this as GB, but I would be saying this as your ally as well. It's best not to antagonize the person who can, like, screw up your income until you have a way of dealing with that person. Like, if you can organize a, like, huge coalition to come in and buttfuck me, then that's when you can go, well, actually, oh, I think, oh, I will contest this, uh... English Channel trade a fair bit more. That's when you can do it. Not when you don't have the means to contest. You need to get the means to contest it. Through naval. Um, yeah. Too many diplomatic relations. What do you got? Military access, military access. Mil Why do you have so much military access? Italy? Sure. Top four? Sure. This guy, so you can walk through him, I guess. But he's also giving... No, he's not giving anyone access. Okay. Um, what the fuck am I doing? I had ass. Okay. Um, Sweden. Stick. Otomi. Where is Otomi? 
That's your vassal. You don't need military access through your own vassal. Stop it. Bad. Um, that's costing you, like, an extra fucking diplo point. Don't do it. Um, you need diplo advisor. Uh, probably... I'd get rid of this guy, chuck this guy on for now, and then wait till you get another one, and then just, like, find a better role of an advisor. Make... You need a level 2 mill advisor as well. You need a level 2 mill advisor to finish those quality ideas, to finish... Then you need a level 2 admin. I you need level 2 everything, honestly, at this point. Um, yeah. Yeah, another free shooter. Pain extra 2.3, yeah. 100% discipline, 4 morale. Uh, pains me. It pains me. Okay. Tag. W-E-S? Hey! They actually had a normal num- Like, normal fucking tag thing for it. Um, Westphalia. I'd probably rival Great Britain. Uh, yeah, I'd probably rival Great Britain. Um... And here, I would say nab another one because you're losing a lot of fucking power projection from it. Just choose someone. Like, Swiss, Prussia, Sweden, Lotharingia. You've only got, like, a max amount of fucking alliances you can have, so just, just fucking choose someone. 20 ducats of... Alright. Um... Alright. I don't know why you're paying him 20 ducats here. He's not pushing money to you. He is most certainly not pushing money to you. What the fuck? How is that much money being sent out? Switzerland as well. 16. 17. What is 32.92 times 0.33? That should be 10 ducats. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, 11 ducats. I guess Sweden as well automatically transfers, and but no, that's been pulled out by Sax Lornberg. Yeah, that money from... Yeah, okay, what the fuck? What is happening here? Why is there so much money being pulled out? Are you transferring trade power? Am I just that dumb? No, you aren't. What the fuck? Why is this value so high? I don't get it. I don't get it. Wait. Yeah. No, it's even lower. I did 32.92, but that's just because you have a high, higher trade efficiency than the actual fucking node, so... It's 33% of... Like, that doesn't make sense. Um, also, you're paying him 20 ducats of subsidies when he's not actually giving you trade power. He's pulling it into his own. So unless those subsidies are for... Um, uh, for... What's it called? Uh, what am I trying to say? Unless those subsidies are for the fucking, uh, Condottieri. Uh, no. Okay, but yeah. Westphalia trade, in uh, Westphalia income, negative 20. Wait, he's giving 20 in subs. What? That's why Lotharingia has a high income, my god. Um, <laughs> I didn't look at that. Okay. Wow. Why, though? Just, why, though? Like, why? Are you just giving him money because, like, instead of sending him trade? Because normally he sends you trade, like, he, you send him trade and he sends you money. 
a little bit over what you lose and you send him and then he pulls that into like the node where he is and he makes more but what um yeah okay i i don't fucking understand that maybe they can someone can enlighten me um these level three provinces are actually very decent because he has so many of them just around I'd make that one a level 3. You get a shit ton of manpower from all of this when you fully level it and put the manpower buildings in there, etc. Yeah, okay. Well. Well, okay. Tag Swiss. The Swiss are currently fighting down here. Is this mercenary armies or what? They are mercenary armies. They're all mercenary armies with infinite manpower. Okay. This front line... Like, I think the Swiss and Prussians, if they team together, could just be, like, Omega Frontline boys. Like, the Swiss could be the men that just fill in all the fucking gaps in the Prussian lines. The Prussians bring cannon down, and because of the discipline effects of the amount of damage you deal as well, that Prussian cannon will never have will never not have troops in front of it, as long as they reinforce properly. And just a shit ton of damage. That's... Okay, that's nutty. Um, you know, we're near taking... Oh, you can take this. At least for 120 ducats, like, what the fuck are you gonna do? Like, what are you gonna do? That's 650 there. Let's rebuke that. Let's chuck a few manufactories over the place. Let's chuck a few manpower buildings? Let's chuck a few manpower buildings over the place. I know you don't have an actual army. You don't actually have an actual army. My fucking god, dude. Um, I kind of want to see if those guys go into a battle, what happens. What the fuck? Did you attach the other one? Oh, you did. I see, I see, I see. Um. <sighs> That'll eventually be cleared up, but this has 0%. Why does it have 0%? What is your, um, where is this coming from? Swiss tolerance. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Um, yeah, you don't even need to convert this shit. Like, it's literally pointless to convert, in my opinion. Where's a Protestant province? Let's click on this rule. Yeah, negative four unrest. So if you convert, right, you're spending however much money on converting when it comes to it for negative one unrest. Like, it's fucking worthless. Don't do that. Instead, you can build up your allies. You can build up yourself even more. You can... You have more places to build force limit buildings on, which is very needed. Always very needed. Um... You can build the local autonomy shit all over. I would do that. Statewide governing cost, uh, minimum local autonomy. It's the governing cost one, right? Yeah. Um, that you should more aim for. You can build the attrition shit and defensiveness on your, um, fort, on your mountain forts if you really want to. That'd make you actually hold them in most cases. Because you got 70% here, plus another 25% from the building, plus another 33%, so that's 125%, plus another 20% from the advisor, that's another... Never mind, you already have the advisor, that's 130% from um, that, without it, defensive ideas, even. So yeah, if you go defensive ideas, you could grab the extra fucking, where is it? The extra 20% there as well, as well as fort maintenance. Uh... Extra maneuver on generals, but you aren't rolling generals because you have um, these, which I don't think you can change the general of. You cannot. So, there's no point in getting general pips. Um, I don't know if your army disc actually applies to your, me to your mercs. I would assume it does. But, if you want to go full merc, what I would do is get Diplo... Offensive? Yeah, Diplo Offensive, um, because that's another 50% manpower, mercenary manpower, as well as uh, Offensive just being good in general. You don't really need much. You could also probably get Religious for the, um, for the 5% uh, morale here and the 10% morale here. Innovative? Does Innovative get it? 
of any good shit. Um, no, it does not. Okay. Yeah, I would just say, uh, only admin idea you're going to take is religious, uh, diplomatic and trade here, and then, uh, offensive and defensive. Where is it? Offensive, defensive. Yeah. Offensive, defensive, quantity. Because, um, manpower, uh, uh, force limit, whatever you fucking call it, is still very needed for you, because you the more forceful they have, the more mercs you can hire. Um, tag Prussia. Now we're looking at, like, this is the Western Europe video. Um, you can start Golden Age, get that extra uh, morale and shit. It's very nice. You've got 5k fucking uh, army fucking whatever. What am I saying? 5k ducats. Jesus Christ. Um, you've still got a bunch of, like, about seven production buildings you can build, a shit ton of manufactories you can build. Um, I would actually build these as Prussia, especially if you're expanding, because that negative 20% uh, governing cost that allow you to stay under this limit even more so. Ooh, actually, you're over it, which means you're losing. Ooh. Ooh. The Prussian menace is down. Revoke that shit because why do you have it at 90%? Literally useless. Um, yeah, so I would chuck that in. I'd chuck this on because why not? You're not going to use it, but just one less button at the top of your screen. Um, Naval Doctrine, you don't really need that. Um, okay, so... That's not efficient, how I did that. You'd put it on provinces that you're not going to build. Like, that you want to build other stuff on. But yeah, then you just build that. 20%. Um, Does it say how much gov cost it, this takes? What am I looking at the unrest and shit for? Um, no, it doesn't. Okay. Let's see here. Does it say here? Okay, so... Territories development only counts as using 25%. Okay, so I assume it's one-to-one. -one. So... In majority of cases. Or it's 75%. That's weird. How I don't know how it works. Someone can, someone can enlighten me. But yeah, I think the play for you is to build the state houses in all of that. Because it does reduce the... Um... No, it doesn't do that. That's this one. The state maintenance. If it did the state maintenance as well, that'd be very nice. But um, yeah, I'd build the state houses in all of the places to um, just stay below your governing limit and be able to expand more and more and more. Tag. Like, that's like the only thing I can really say for you because as it stands, yeah, you've taken the right infantry, <laughs> brother. Um, as it stands, you haven't really got much uh, ahead of you to do apart from just um, figuring out who you're going to conquer. Are you going to cut Bohemia? Are you going to split it with other people? Are you going to um, fight the Swiss over South Germany? Are you going to like, kill the Westphalians, you're gonna try and take Denmark from the Swedish, like, that's your only plays, really, apart from, oh, and fighting Commonwealth, but, um, that's your only plays, really. Boom, 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 boom. Not much Prussia can do, apart from just go off and fight wars for people, but I don't think Rayleigh's the kind of guy that's gonna keep doing that. I think this is a one-time show, to just to show how fat and massive his absolute horrendous cock is, um, and yeah. 130% meh discipline. He hasn't even got offensive ideas, which gives another 5%. And he hasn't even got the 5% from his ruler. Jesus H.
Jesus H. Okay. Um, let's look at Habsburg. Habsburg! Haha! <laughs> I'm not gonna look at this because the only way this is gonna work is through save fixes and save edits and whether or not uh, Charles is willing to keep playing it, etc, etc. It's just in a fox position. Sorry, Charles. Uh, just because of, um, like, what happened. It wasn't brain dead, but then it was when Fizz went away because uh, E4 doesn't have the same fucking AI system, like, play it, like, dropping player system that Hoi 4 does, where you can only, where you can just choose a specific country if they're AI controlled or not after a player leaves. E4, once one is player control, uh, AI, brain dead. What am I saying? Once one is brain dead, they're all brain dead. Like, every single player nation that has become an AI just becomes player, uh, brain dead. Tag Italy. I need to stop, like, stammering and just saying the same shit. Rambling. Whatever the word is. Um, I get rid of this fort here. Unless it's level 3. I'd still get rid of it, honestly. Um, we got level 4 forts now? We have. Um, <coughs> <coughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd build up your forts all over the place. That's probably what Swiss can do here They, with their money. They can build up forts as well. Um, make sure you have forts on actual good provinces, not like this random fucking one there. Not like this one here. Um, this one's alright, but this one's much better. So delete that from there. And instead, build a level 4 there. Get rid of this fucking church piece of shit. Oh no, you lose point three, point one three ducats. Chuck in a fucking fort on that mountain. Which then covers this province and this province. Um, and it's better than this fucking woods province. Uh, here, you don't need anything there really. This is currently one of the only provinces in your entire country that isn't protected. As well as this one, seeing as I deleted this fort. Um, that's has a... Ugh, that has a pro fort on it. I'd chuck a fort here and a... Yeah, I'd chuck a fort here, actually, and just have these two as a wall. I don't think you need this hill province to have a fort. You can have one as a second layer, but I just wouldn't. Um, then you're going to need to be... I assume you... Yeah, uh, Naples is dead, so you're going to need to be building forts along here, getting rid of the fort in Rome, because it's worthless yet again. It just gives me, uh, war score to people who take it, and protects really nothing in my opinion. Uh, you will also most likely not have naval superiority in the majority of your wars, so again, no point really having a coastal fort. Um, yeah, have that fort there, have a fort here, have a fort here, And have a fort here. Uh, have a fort here, I mean. And then have these two forts here. But, yeah, that depends how fucking Naples is split. Like, uh, how... What are the powers? Like, Ottomans could fucking come in on Naples. France could fucking come in on Naples, even though they can't at the moment. I'm just saying hypothetically. Um, I'm not going to look at Naples because it's dead. Well, he's um, seated the nation. Yeah, I think that's it for the uh, Western Europe. Cool. Nice. Actually, I'm going to keep talking for another minute. Actually, no, I'm not, because that way it'd take longer to upload. Haha, <laughs> fuck you.